Peacemaker, the new James Gunn TV show out on HBO Max. The first three episodes are out and I have just watched them. We are following the continuation from the Suicide Squad with a character known as Peacemaker starring John Cena, written by and directed by James Gunn. Now I'm going to tell you guys my thoughts on the first three episodes. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of these first three episodes. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Smash it down below. Let's get a discussion going. Smash that like button and click subscribe as well. And without further ado, let's jump into this review of Peacemaker episodes one, two, and three. Okay, so Peacemaker is now officially underway. They dropped the first three episodes, which I wasn't expecting. I only thought they would drop the first episode. I didn't expect them to drop three, but I'm glad they did. I'm really glad they dropped three, and I think it makes sense that they dropped three episodes because now it gets you thinking moving forward. After watching the three, where if you just watched the first episode, you might not have got wrapped up and come back the following week. Possibly, I don't know. That's just some people's personal preference that may have happened. But having all three, you kind of sit there and watch all three. And the ending of, number, of episode three really shakes up things and gets me really excited for the remainder of Peacemaker. Now, I'm not familiar with Peacemaker as a character. I, I don't think a lot of general audience members are going to be very well versed with Peacemaker. So, when I watched The Suicide Squad, I liked John Cena as Peacemaker. I thought his banter, the interactions, what James Gunn did with that character was fantastic. So, I was like, cool. You got James Gunn. I'm excited for the, for, the, for the show. I'm really excited for it. And I tell you what, after watching the first three episodes, I absolutely freaking love, love Peacemaker so much. I think this is just genius. James Gunn has nailed it again. I love everything everything about this show so far it's just the easiest way i can describe this if i was to pitch this to someone that doesn't know who peacemaker is and is like oh what's this tv show about i would say imagine if dc had their own version of deadpool that's what peacemaker is it's very very similar to the way daredevil is as a character uh, not daredevil deadpool is as a character and just the humor is so good in this. I I love dark humor. And I think the way James Gunn has done the humor with the sexual references, with the sexist jokes, with the racist jokes, with all those sort of things, I thought they were actually done really, really well. The execution of them was perfect. And I was laughing my ass off throughout the whole first episode, through the whole first, uh, the whole second episode, and the whole third episode, I absolutely was pissing myself, I think the comedy is gold, and I love James Gunn, how he's got the dark humor, and you saw it in the Suicide Squad, and this is just him expressing it even more, and it's absolutely brilliant, now, the characters are absolutely fantastic as well, I love that we're getting a bit more spotlight on the other three characters, that are working for the government. I really like that we're getting to see more of them and more interactions they have. We didn't really see it in the Suicide Squad that much with them interacting with the actual heroes or anything like that, or the villains, if you want to call them villains, anti-heroes, whatever you want to call them, but we didn't see them really interact. Now we get to see Peacemaker interact with them. I thought that was absolutely fantastic. I love the backstories and stuff. We're getting, we're getting little bits here and there of them. We're getting little bits, and I appreciate that. As for Peacemaker himself, I love this. I am, I'm actually gobsmacked at how good John Cena is as playing this. I thought he wasn't quite ready to take a lead role. And after watching him in Fast 9, I kind of felt like that as well. But this role just fits him. It just fits him. And when you've got a director like James Gunn, who knows what he's doing. I mean, he's worked with Dave Bautista, who's not the greatest actor either, but made him look really good in the Guardians movies. James Gunn is a world-class director, and when you get a world-class director who knows how to direct and work with strengths within his actors and actresses, you get the best out of him. Now, he knows John Cena is not the best actor in the world, but he knows his strengths, and he works in those. The comedy, the comedic timing. It's just... It's brilliant, and he's just really bringing Peacemaker alive and making me love him. I love his performances. I love everything about it. I also have to give mention to Vigilante. I fucking love Vigilante. Oh, my God. He's just so quirky and so much fun and entertaining. 
I hope they keep him in this series. I hope he stays around for the rest of the series because I love him and his banter and interaction. I think is just absolutely incredible. I like his suit as well. His suit's pretty cool, but I love his whole get up and everything about him is just fun and entertaining. And that's what I want out of this show. I just want to be entertained. I want to have fun. And James Gunn is delivering that while also giving me a story that I'm invested in as well. And I really like how they had in the Suicide Squad the uh, <laughs> the Starfish. Um, what's it called? They called it the Starfish Project or whatever it was in there. And then uh, Project Starfish. That's right. It was that. And it was a giant starfish. And then this one was called... <laughs> Project Butterfly, and he's like, you tell me that I'm fine, a real butterfly? Like, can I have jetpack? Like, it's just so funny, and then when you get to episode 3, you actually see what, you get a little hint of what is actually going on, and it's absolutely funny. I just, I'm, I'm really enjoying this. I like the music choices as well. I think James Gunn's really good at choosing music, whether it's the old 80s classics in uh, Guardians, whether it's the ones that we are seeing now, the old records and everything like that, like Cinderella and stuff like that. I think it's absolutely fantastic. It fits. It's great. It's fun. It's entertaining. The action is quite good as well. I really enjoyed the fight sequence. I thought that was incredible. It was just fun. It's just fun and entertaining. That's what Peacemaker is. It's a fun, entertaining show. And I would highly recommend you guys checking this out. It's so much fun. Like, I'm gobsmacked at how much I'm enjoying this. I don't think I have had this much fun with a TV show like this for a while. Like, it's just so refreshing, something new, something different. And it's just so fun. And having the interactions with his dad, Peacemaker and his dad, I thought was it was heartfelt as well. It had a little bit of heart, and I felt sorry for Peacemaker. I like how they are expanding upon his suit and how things work. And I'm just, I'm excited for episode 4 now. I'm really excited. I cannot wait for episode 4. So let me know in the comments below what you guys think of episode 1, 2, and 3. Did you like it or did you not? Smash it down below. Smash that like button for me. Click subscribe and I'll see you guys next video. Until then, stay safe. Peace out.